It's a three part event happening at once to kick off a new program in Lenore County, as well as give those who might not normally play baseball a chance to run the bases. That in your sides, Caitlin Richards is joining us now after talking with law enforcement and event organizers. So Caitlin, what's happening? Angie, it's the second annual Ride for Rad. Rad stands for raising awareness for the developmentally disabled, helping over 8,000 people per year. The event will raise money for Rad and launch one project to better assist emergency calls. At 1030 Saturday morning, riders will go from the Boneyard Harley-Davidson to the North Carolina Veterans Home in Kinston, through the Caswell Development Center and on to Granger Stadium. Also at 1030 in the morning, Rad's team will be playing baseball against the Down East Wood Ducks. So when our riders arrive there around the time their game is about over, um, they'll get to come out and see the riders and, um, and the riders will get to see who they're riding for, what's the purpose of this fundraiser to begin with. Um, but then also the third part is um, the collaboration kickoff of um, KBD's Project Safe and Sound. Kinston Police Department initiated Project Safe and Sound. It's for emergency responders to respond more appropriately to a call. We talked about it and we decided, hey, we'll do a collaboration. Rad will help. I said, would you be open to this being a collaboration along with Lenore County Sheriff's Department? And he said, if you can make it happen, we'll do it. We were on board, uh, basically, we just to gather information about the individuals in the county that do have disabilities and disabilities developmental dis disabilities and basically gathering that information and helping us be able to respond better to that type of situation. With no situation getting left out. Whether it's a four-year-old child that has autism and sensory issues that can't handle sirens to a 75-year-old grandmother who has dementia. Um, it can help both and a lot of people don't think that it can do that, but it can. At Saturday morning's event, there will be information about Safe and Sound while raising money for RAD. It's a lot of fun um, to see them interact. It's typically around the same people every time, so you get to know them a little bit more. They get to interact, you know, with the players over and over again, so they build that relationship. And I think the players have just as much fun as the people with RAD do. Registration for the RAD ride begins at 930 in the morning and again starts at 1030. The game's also at 1030 and will be free. For more information on how to sign up for Project Safe and Sound, we have that information at WNCT.com. In studio, Kaylin Richards, 9 on your side.